Okay, today I'm going to share with you a very cool tag that's not talked about much, so let's get started. We're going to make ourselves a new HTML5 tag. I'm sorry, HTML5 page by selecting HTML5 here. Now, I'm intrigued with CS3, CS5.5. God, just, uh, I'm not paying attention. CS5.5. Okay, so I want to keep this short and sweet. There's something called the definition list. Definition list is really important for products, for resumes. It'll automatically format your page based on paragraphs. So how do we do this? Well, definition list is basically part of your toolbar up here. Or a second way to get the definition list is to right click and select the list and select definition list. So let's get started with this correctly. So here we just have a series of five paragraphs. I want to put these five paragraphs instead of a definition list tag. So how do I do that? Okay, select the body tag. I can either right click or control click, bring up a list menu and select definition list. So this is now inside of a definition list. Now notice what happened to my content. My content got indented automatically because here's how the definition list works. Definition list is good for products, description, um, resumes, etc., etc., etc. So here's what happened to my tags here. So let's go to our code and we'll see there's something called a definition list. Definition list is followed by the definition term, which is followed by the definition description. So I have three new tags that you probably never heard about before. Definition list, definition term, definition description. This is part of HTML4. Of course, it works correctly in HTML5. So let's understand how this works here. I'm going to do that command Z. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put my cursor here hit the return key. So at every start of each paragraph, I just want to make a short little paragraph by hitting the return key. I'm going to put a paragraph here, and hit the return key, and come down here to this paragraph, and hit the return key. So, basically, let's save that file. Save. I have a series of paragraphs, so let's look at our code again. So right now, I just have a series of paragraphs. Okay, with me so far? Here's the cool part, okay? Notice I have no CSS rules, and the only tags I have are the paragraph tags. So watch this. I'm going to select the body tag again. I'm going to right click Windows, Control click Macintosh, List, Definition List. Now, what that does automatically formats the type. Now, you're not seeing much happening here. We're going to create rules in just a second. So if I go to my code right now, it automatically broke down the paragraph rules. So it basically goes definition list, definition term, definition list, definition term, etc., etc., etc. Now I just noticed something very strange happened here. So let's do this again. So that's selected. And I could say list, definition, list. So there, there it goes. Okay, so what's happening here, let's go to the code again. I have, everything's inside of a DL. DL starts here, DL ends at the bottom. So definition list, again, can be used for products, description, headline description, headline description. So basically it goes definition list, definition term, definition description. So let's make CSS rules for this. So again, I have nothing on the page. But tags, I have everything's inside the body tag, definition list, followed by a definition description, term, rather DT, followed by a definition description. So I'm going to basically come down here and select this tag here. So this is DL, definition list. So let's make a rule for that. Select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. So we're going to go to tag. We're going to hit OK. So let's do a couple of things here. We're going to simply say box. Let's make this box be 900 pixels wide. Let's make the box height, keep it simple, 400 pixels wide. And we're going to give this a 
10 pits of padding. Now, this is not a div tag. This could be contained inside of a div tag. I just want to explain a simple concept here. This is simply a definition list. It can be inside of any tag, main content tag, sidebar tag, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we're simply going to say 900 by 400, 10 pixels of padding. We're not going to minus anything. And just because we can, I'm going to change the background color to a white gray color. So I hit OK. Now, while I'm at it here, let's go back to the definition list. Let's set the font family. I'm going to set this to comma, to comma by default. Let's make this 14 pixels. Okay, now here's the fun part. This by default is a definition term. This is a definition term. This is a definition term. So I can create a rule for the definition term. So let's do that. So definition term, select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. So we're going to create a rule for definition term. Now, important step here. If we want to be that specific, we could. We could say definition term. This will kind of help your thinking a little bit. Definition term inside of definition list. That's okay. That's acceptable. I have no problem with that. This way, you understand that the definition term is part of the definition list. So we're going to say, just because we can here, we're going to make this font size bigger. Let's make this say 22 points and let's change the typeface to say Arial Black so it's nice, big, and heavy. So I get something like that happening. Okay. Now, okay, this is going to a second line here. So let's just make this a little less confused. I'm just going to kill the second line here. Okay. Now let's put some let's put some space between that. So double click. Let's go to box box category. From the bottom, let's put one e n. M is equal to the height of a letter M. And let's set up a Y. Now, that's a little bit too much space for my taste. So let's say 0.6M. In fact, let's put 0.6M from the bottom here. And then from the top, let's put 0.5M from the top. So I get something like this happening. Okay? So again, the definition list is the gray box. It's the container here. This is the definition term. Now, for the paragraph, or actually this is not a paragraph, the DD, definition description, DD stands for definition description, let's make a rule for that. So I select the tag and make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. Again, if it helps you, we're going to simply say, kill the body tag, DD inside of definition in list. Okay, okay. So let's do a couple of things here. First of all, let's indent this a little further. So I'm going to go to the box category. And from the left, let's make that two M spaces to the left. So it moves over a little bit. Indent it. Again, resume is just to be perfect for product placement. This would be good too. Now, because we can, let's go to the block category and justify the type. So it's block type. So it's basically going to be block type like a magazine. It's going to be squared on the left, squared on the right. Now, if I go to a view here, and I hide my CSS palette, you can see this is block view on the right. Okay. Now, let's do another thing here. Let's go back to our CSS rules for the definition term, and let's give this more of a padding from the right. Let's do right padding of, say, 2.5 M spaces. Okay. Let's move this over to the left a little bit. So there's my 2.5 padding up M spaces. Make a change, save a change. So let's make a couple other changes here. Let's make this definition term, which is this information here, let's make that capitalized. So let's say capitalized and hit apply. Okay, so again, I just want to make this a single point of type. have to come out of my view. Okay, so let's kill that line of type. Okay, so you get the hang of this pretty cool stuff here. So let's double click definition term again. And let's give this a line height. It's gonna put more space between our lines for our DD definition term. 
So let's say, let's make this 1.7 m spaces. So that's going to give us more space between our lines per paragraph. Okay, pretty cool stuff here. Okay, now what's happening here is that this, this definition list had a certain height to it that we started out with. Let's change that. Let's go back to box description and let's give it no height. Now, don't confuse no with, with zero. Zero is a value. We're going to give it not a nil, nothing height. Therefore, it grows to the height of itself. Okay, so once a couple last things I want to share with you here. Let's separate, let's separate the definition list at the bottom. So at the bottom of the definition list here, we can basically create a rule to put a line at the bottom of this. Okay. So how would I do that? I would simply say definition list here. So D D I'm sorry, definition description. My mistake, I'm confusing myself. Definition description at the bottom, bottom of the definition description, we're gonna say border, border based on these choices, these choices, bottom, bottom, dashed, dashed two, and it's gonna default to black because our copy is black. We have to make this, let's make this uh this horrible neon green color. So I get something like this. Now that's kind of hard to see. So let's just go with black. Let's just delete that. And same for all and apply. So you can see this better. Then I'm going to move the padding. Box padding, padding, bottom, bottom. Let's make this one M space. Okay. How cool is that? Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So there's our definition list, definition term. Now, if you don't want the list on the bottom of this, you can give this definition description and ID tag and then take this away. So how would I do that? Okay, I would select the tag and give it an ID. So we could, what do we call <laughs> last DD? So it's our last DD. So I select the tag, I give it an ID. Just like a div tag has an ID. Any tag can have an ID. I select the tag and make a rule. So in this particular case, I'm gonna make a rule for the selected tag. So I go to order, order none. Now, what I have to pay close attention to here at this point is that the parent tag is still the definition term tag. The definition term tag had padding at the bottom. I don't want to have padding at the bottom. So I don't want to have padding at the bottom. So how do I solve this? I double click. I come to the box bottom bottom of the box based on these choices, these are my choices. Bottom, what's the value for nothing? Nothing value is zero. So zero is gonna give this no padding. So watch here in the bottom left hand corner. But the apply option, the padding is now gone. Now, of course, I can put a border around this. I can treat this like a div tag, but it's not a div tag. This can go inside of a div tag. So if you want to put this into an existing website, you can simply select the D here definition list, copy it, and paste it into a div tag. Really cool stuff. Okay, now the last thing I want to share with you is let's look at, say, this paragraph here. Let's say I want to break this paragraph here by putting my cursor here. So watch what happens. I hit the return key. Automatically, it becomes a definition term because that's how the process works. Paragraphs get turned into a definition list. First paragraph becomes a definition Term, second paragraph becomes definition description. Definition term, definition description. So in this particular case, I don't want this to be a definition term. I want this be a definition description. So how do I do that? How can I possibly, possibly do this? Okay, magic. So basically, I call Merlin on the phone. He sends over some pixie tag dust and I change it. That's how it's done. Wrong. I simply, in order to affect the tag, I need to select the tag. What's the name of this tag? This is a definition term tag. How do I know that? Because that's what it says. This is why I'm such a genius at this, guys. This is why I make this so simple, simple, simple. While you're trying to check out these other Waste of Time videos to show you all this code and all this nonsense, I am going to keep this Simple, simple, simple. So what's the name of this tag? D-T. 
definition term. What do I want it to be? D, D. So how can I possibly do this? Command T, Command T, Quick Tag Editor, Command T, Macintosh, Control T, Windows. We've used this before in previous videos. So I simply, simply, simply delete the T, replace it with a D, hit the return key, and now it's a definition description. Okay, a DD. However, I don't want to have this here. Okay, so therefore I'd have to create a rule or a class tag to get rid of that because by default, definition term here, definition I'm sure description has a line at the bottom of it. So I don't want to have a line at the bottom of this. So how do I get rid of it? I'd have to make a class tag. Now, if you subscribe to my videos and you follow me, I can't put everything in every video here. Plus, guys, I'm doing this on my dime. So support what I do. Go to my Facebook page. Tell your friends I make money from this site, from the advertising that you see there. So uh, I have no problem posting the videos, but I need your support. I need you to tell friends about my amazing, simple, simple, simple technique. So here's a whole lesson in definition term. So carpe diem, have a good day. Talk to you soon.